this is Herbal M, and welcome to another plant study, and this time we will be taking a look at basil. Now, there are about 150 different varieties of basil, so luckily for you, we're only looking into the two that are most commonly used, and those are sweet basil and red reuben basil. Now, as far as culinary purposes go, um... Red Reuben Basil has a bit more of a smoky flavor to it, but as far as medicinal herbs go, I think that they're about exactly the same. Um, now, basil is antiseptic, antimicrobial, antiemetic, or it keeps you from vomiting. It is diuretic. It is mildly sedative, so it would be nice to drink before you go to bed or if you're having a hard time with the kids. It is antibacterial and it is insect repellent and decongestant. Now, the two parts that you would use for these are leaves and essential oils. Um, the uses of basil are limited only by your imagination. Fresh picked leaves make a very stimulating and refreshing tea as well as, you know, calm you down after you know, a long day of taking care of the kids. Um, it is good on sandwiches during summer. There's actually a variety called mammoth basil that two leaves would cover your entire sandwich. Um, you can rub it on your skin to make a very good insect repellent, as I said earlier. And you can rub it on warts and cover it with a band-aid and they will disappear eventually. <laughs> Um, you can diffuse some oil to lift depression and clear the air in a stuffy room. There is an old saying that basil brings prosperity and happiness when planted in a garden. And if that is true, I should be getting a double helping because I am planting 15 plants of both sweet basil and red reuben basil this year. Basil is a very carefree plant and does not have very many issues with disease or insects. Um, it needs a good bit of sun, but don't put it out in full sun if you have a very hot climate like I do. Um, but it does need water and not to be drowned. As far as harvesting goes, if you would like to encourage it to grow more vigorously, then simply harvest the topmost leaves and you would want to harvest the topmost third of the plant before the first frost before um as far as harvesting goes do it before it flowers now uses for the leaves include but are not limited to a fresh rub and to do that rub it on insect bites and it will reduce the itching and inflammation as a wash Combine the juice with an equal quantity of honey and use for ringworm and itching. For a juice mix, with a, you can decoct some with cinnamon and cloves for chills. Now for syrups, combine the juice and equally an equal quantity of honey for coughs. Um, I'm sorry, but I think I got the juice mix and the syrup recipes switched sorry and for an inhalation or steam pour boiling water onto the leaves and inhale the steam for heavy cold now the uses for the essential oils are as follows as always they are including but not limited to just for the essential oils add five to ten drops to a bath for nervous exhaustion exhaustion, mental fatigue, melancholy, or uneasiness. For a chest rub, dilute 5 drops of basil oil in 10 milliliters of almond or sunflower oil for asthma and bronchitis. And for massage oil, use the same recipe and massage it in for nervous weakness and it can also be in applied as an insect repellent. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this. Hope to hear from you soon.